Hello learners! Welcome to the first week of the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Milk Writing equals analysis and critical interpretation of literary texts and doing an adaptation of these require from the learner the ability to identify the geographic, linguistic, and ethnic dimensions of Philippine literary history of pre-colonial to the contemporary. What is literature? Literature is a term used to describe written and sometimes spoken material, derived from the Latin word litera, meaning writing formed with letters. Literature most commonly refers to works of the creative imagination, including poetry, drama, fiction, non-fiction, and in some instances, journalism and song. Simply put, literature represents the culture and tradition of a language or people. In folk narratives are varied and distinct. They depict the people's livelihood, customs, and traditions. 1. Folk tale. This is a characteristically anonymous, timeless, and placeless tale circulated orally among people. Fable. This features animal characters or inanimate objects that behave like people. Legend. This is presented as history but is unlikely to be true. Myth. This is told to explain a belief, a practice, or a natural phenomenon. Epic. The na this narrative poem celebrates the adventures and achievements of a hero. British colonial period expeditions to the Philippines were sent by Spain in the 16th century. In their conquests, the Spaniards brought Christianity with them. The clergy made a great impact on faith, education, and government. Through the Manila Acapulco trade, liberal ideas entered the country. Also, the trade gave rise to a wealthier middle class. Children in middle-class families could then be sent to Europe to get an education. Upon their return, they brought European ideals of liberty and freedom with them. Such ideals would then give rise to Filipino nationalism. Philippine Literature During the Spanish Occupation The Spanish missionaries taught the gospel through the native language. So they hired natives to translate Spanish religious instructional materials. Eventually, the natives became fluent in Spanish and became known as the Dinos. The Dinos mainly wrote devotional poetry. Native literature continued. Through the Spaniards destroyed the written literature in their effort to replace it with their own, the oral tradition survived and flourished in areas beyond the reach of the Spaniards. Francisco Baltazar, the master of traditional Tagalog poetry, became well known for his work Florante at Laura, the most famous metrical romance of the country. Pedro Paterno wrote Sampaguitas y Poesias Varias, the first poetry collection in Spanish by a Filipino, and the novel in Spanish Ninay, considered to be the first Filipino novel. Jose Rizal, a prominent ilustrado, and the country's national hero is famous for the novels Noli Metangere and El Filibusterismo. These novels portray the corruption and abuse of the Spanish officials and the clergy. Andres Bonifacio, the founder of the Katipunan, wrote the poem Pag Ibig sa Tinubuang Lupa. This poem appeared in the Kalayaan, the official newspaper of the Katipunan, in March. 1896. Leona Florentino, known as the mother of the Philippine women's literature, was a poet in both Ilocano and Spanish. 
20 of her poems were preserved and exhibited in Europe. Philippine literature during the Spanish occupation was mostly influenced by Christianity as well as the European ideals of liberty and freedom through trade. Filipino writers either wrote in Spanish or in their own tongue or both. The American Occupation The U.S. established a civil government in 1901. Free public education was introduced. Also, English was the medium of instruction. In 1934, President Roosevelt signed a bill making the Philippines a commonwealth. On May 14, 1935, Manuel L. Quezon was elected president. The literary works produced during the American occupation. The production of literary works in English is the direct result of the American colonization of the Philippines. The first collection in poetry in English is Filipino Poetry, edited by Rodolfo Dato. The short story Dead Stars by Paz Marquez Benitez is considered as the first Filipino modern short story in English. A Child of Sorrow by Zoilo M. Galang is the first Filipino novel in English. The novel His Native Soil by Juan C. Laya won first prize in the first Commonwealth Literary Awards in 1940. The Japanese Occupation On December 8, 1941, the Japanese attacked Manila. On January 2, 1942, Japanese occupied Manila. They set up a council of state in the country and started propaganda to remold the Filipinos. In October 1943, the Japanese declared the Philippines independent. On September 20, Jose P. Laurel was elected president. MacArthur and his allied forces returned to the country in 1944. They landed on Leyte on October 20 in the biggest naval battle in history and should. The Japanese surrendered formally on September 2, 1945. Literary works produced during the Japanese occupation. During the occupation, publications were censored by military. Also, Tagalog was declared an official language. In effect, Philippine literature in English came to a halt. Some Filipino writers then turned to writing in Filipino. The Tagalog short story reached its maturity during the period. The best works were compiled by the Liwayway Magazine editors in Ang Pinakamabuting Maikling Katang Filipino ng 1943, which came out in 1944. It is a collection of stories that won a contest sponsored by the Japanese. The top four stories were Lupang Tinubuan by Narciso Reyes, Uhawang Tigang na Lupa by Liwayway Arsilo, Nayon at Dagat Dagatan by NVM Gonzalez, and Suyuan sa Tubigan by Mar- Macario Pineda. Summary the American occupation of the Philippines spurred the writing of Filipinos in English. On the other hand, the Japanese occupation censored literary works yet contributed the maturity of the Tagalog short story. Post-war and contemporary literature Post-war and contemporary literature include all literary works written and published in the Philippines from 1946. After World War II, the Philippines had to deal with the economy and the need for rehabilitation and reconstruction of infrastructures. There was political, economic, and social confusion, as well as great poverty, and these issues found their way into the short stories and novels during that time. During the post-war period, Filipino writers got their inspiration from American teachers and were able to learn their techniques, which also helped in mastering the English language. Writers wrote fiction that focused on courageous deeds as well as the sacrifices and suffering in the lives of Filipinos. 
it was also common for writers to write about experiences of the Filipino people under the Spanish and American rule and the Japanese occupation. Other subjects and themes include religious faith, superstitions, fantasy, social problems, poverty, politics, nationalism, morality. Literary works during the post-war and contemporary literature Philippine literature flourished even more during the post-war and contemporary period. Writers were able to produce short stories, novels, essays, and poems that continue to be read by Filipinos today. Examples Some works written in the post-war and contemporary period are May Day Eve by Nick Joaquin, 1947, Waywaya by F. Slor Jose, 1983. We Filipinos are mild drinkers by Alejandro Rosas, 1948. The Return by Edith Tiempo. History and Philippine Culture by Horacio de la Costa in 1965. And Without Seeing the Dawn by Esteban Havellana in 1947. Note, to be able to fully appreciate literature in the Philippines, as a reader and a critic, you must also be aware of the country's history, culture, society, and psych or human spirit. 